Mastering Tennis Terms, Understanding, Deuce Game. Hello, language enthusiasts and sports fans. Today, we're diving into the world of tennis as we unpack the meaning behind the term, Deuce Game. Whether you're a tennis aficionado, an English learner, or just curious about sports terminology, this video is for you. So grab your notebook because you're about to serve up some new knowledge. Let's start at the very beginning. What does deuce mean in tennis? In the scoring system of tennis, a deuce indicates a tie where both players have scored three points each, which in tennis terms means they both have 40 points. The term deuce signifies that the game is tied and highlights the competitive nature of the match. A game reaches deuce when the score is tied at 40 to 40, and from this point on, the game takes a special turn. When a game reaches deuce, winning it becomes a tad more challenging. From deuce, a player must score two consecutive points to win the game. The first point after deuce is called advantage. If the player with the advantage scores the next point, they win the game. However, if the opponent scores, the game goes back to deuce. This can happen an indefinite number of times until one player secures the two-point lead needed to win. Now, you might wonder why it's called deuce at all. The term deuce can be traced back to the French phrase a dure le jeu, which means to both is the game. It indicates that the game is equally poised and that both players are just two points away from victory. It's a thrilling moment in tennis that keeps both the players and the audience on the edge of their seats. During a deuce game, players often adapt their strategies. They may become more cautious, trying to avoid errors, or more aggressive, attempting to force an error from their opponent. Understanding this aspect of a deuce game can add an extra layer of appreciation for the strategy and mental toughness required in tennis. And that's a wrap on the deuce game in tennis. We hope this video has not only clarified the term but also given you insight into the dramatic twists and turns a tennis match can take. Remember, whether it's on the court or in language learning, persistence is key. Keep practicing, keep learning, and who knows? Maybe you'll score an advantage in your English skills. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.